Hey guys, I'm Shan Moo and today is my first ever masterclass with the body shop. I'm getting my favorite mousse. Jacqueline for another! Okay, first of all, guys, I'm not a moose, I'm a muse. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, Sean. And you know, even I'm so excited that we're doing the Makeup Masterclass here today. And as you know, one of the main reasons why I am one of the biggest fans of the body shop is because all of their products are actually cruelty free. So the makeup you see is vegetarian, vegan, and that makes it so ethical and, of course, um, beauty with a cause. Thanks. So, shall we start? Yeah, we should start. Uh, it's time to prep the skin, which is really important for you guys to make up. And the most important is, of course, cleansing Tony Marshall, which Jackie loves already. So guys, I've designed these two amazing, crazy looks using only the Body Shop products, which is really young, fresh, really, you guys can use it for the day, or even if you guys are going out, as I said, for a romantic dinner. So I am going to start prepping the skin first before I'm doing it. Okay. I'm using the ice cool cube. ice cube right yeah yes ice cube, ice cube. and the eyes and it's really fresh this is one of my favorite it's literally like putting ice on the bottom of your eye it's like it's very very refreshing and now after it, Jackie has already used a sunscreen which she loves and which is really important. You guys have to use sunscreen all the time. So the prepping is done now. The most important, as all the girls know, what is the most important thing? It's the base. And of course, Jackie has really worked really hard for the... <laughs> this is actually the fresh nude cushion foundation. It's uh, from my line. Um, I'm so happy with it because it has uh, aloe vera as well, which is so good for the skin. It is really, it helps, it really helps your skin and it gives you such a nice coverage. It is so natural. But at the same time, it just happens to also give the most amazing glow. So whenever I wear this foundation out, people always, always comment on my skin about how fresh it's looking. Um, and it gives a really nice silky feel to it. Like, have you seen the, the, the pores are closed? It really covers it up really well. So it doesn't make your skin really oily or it doesn't make it heavy. It's really lightweight. And make sure when you guys are doing it, apply the same product on your neck also so that otherwise when you guys get pictures and all, you guys might see two different colors. So make sure whenever you guys apply it, apply it on the face and also on the neck. So for this fresh look, the base is done. Now mm -hmm. it's my favorite, favorite shades adjusting drops. Have you ever heard about this product? Uh, <laughs> I actually use this product all the time. So <laughs> there are two uses of this product, which is amazing, guys. Either if your base is too light, you guys can do a drop of it, which makes your base the perfect shade. I actually go how many shades darker? Five to six shades darker. So I will use it a lot every day. <laughs> and the wood they have used is also eco-friendly. So let's move on now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the angular brush for the contouring, which is really easy for you guys to contour. And what I do is I just make these two lines and then next to her nose. And I use very, very little of the contouring on the sides of her forehead. And I draw, I draw a straight line. On the jawline, I draw a straight line close to her jawline, and then I start blending them out. He basically like redesigned my face. <laughs> so it's very easy. It makes your face much more softer, and these brushes are really easy to use. And whenever you guys get a little stuck with the base, you guys can take the sponges also, beauty blender, and then smudge it in really well. And, uh, and any face mm -hmm. color can use it. Like the plus one, it's just in one shade. So you guys, anybody can use it, and you guys even can. Oh, and there's a sister product as well. Exactly, which is the highlighter, which is 100% vegetarian. And this one is actually vegan. Oh, sorry. Um, it actually cre it actually makes your foundation lighter. So um, if you have a problem with a darker base or a darker foundation, this actually lightens it up. Lightens it up. But I always just use 
the shade adjusting drops. After the contouring is done, my next favorite step is giving a little bit of redness, and this I'm just going to use. Is it pink eye whiskers? Exactly, <laughs> it's one of the best tint uh, body shop has, and I love using very little on the apple of the cheeks. This is something I carry in my bag all the time because you can use it on your cheeks, use it on your lips, and it's really versatile and very, very natural. Very, very natural. It just gives you a little hint of blush. I'm done with the contouring base and blush, and now it's time for me to use the powder to fix the powder base. So for that, I'm going to use the compact powder of Body Shop. Use it really little under the eyes. Top of the nose, the lap lines, and on the forehead. I'm only using the compact powder where I need to highlight the face. And then I'm using the same angular brush, but for the other area which I'm controlling, I'm going to powder it with the honey bronzer, which is really nice and natural, so that I don't want to give her two layers of powder, so the base looks much more natural. I'm going to contour it again, very naturally, side of the nose. This is actually a really good blending tip as well. So just along where he's contoured, he's actually just using the um, bronzing powder. So it actually just blends really nice into the skin and even gives him a little bit of a highlight as well, which is nice. And it will help the makeup stay the whole day. Done. And now it's time for the eyeshadow, so I'm going to use the eye color stick, which is really nice as an under eye base for your eyeshadow to stay longer. And it gives a really nice shine for the night. So the first, I'm applying the stick. It's golden in color, so I'm going to mix two colors of sticks, which is one till the half of the eyelid. I'm using the skin color which will highlight your eyes. And now, for the outer corner of the eye, I'm going to use the little darkish color to define your eyes more. So this is the shape you guys should create to get the perfect eyeshadow. Here. And now, I'm going to mix this color with my finger so that there's no strong lines. And now it's time for me to use the eyeshadow palette, which I'm quite in love. It's the Down to Earth palette, which has really nice natural eyeshade color. So I'm going to use first this peachy color in the inner corner of her eyes. And now for the outer corner, I'm going to use the outer shade. What's the outer shade? The darker color, the darkest color. Okay. To bring her eyes out. It's quite fresh because the colors are really light. So you guys can even do it for a day party, like a day function. Really but we're light. doing this for a romantic dinner, okay? Of course, for the Don't romantic forget. dinner is also perfect. <laughs> I have to look natural. <laughs> yes. So, make sure that you guys bring the same dark color which we have used in the outer corner inside the eyelid crease to make the eyes look larger. So along the outer layer and along the crease. Crease, exactly. Okay. So I'm using the same color on the lower lid also. And I'm going to use in the inner corner. The skin color, the goldenish tone. And I mix these two colors together. The 
eyes are done. Now it's time for eyelash curling, which is really important, guys. You guys have to always curl your lashes. And Body Shop has a really nice eyelash curler. So make sure you guys always curl your lashes. Very important. So curling is done. Now it's time for the mascara. And I'm using the Lash Hero Fiber Extension, which is unbelievable. First, you guys have to apply the black one. Okay. So that. Oh my gosh, I've been doing it. Well guys, the other way works as well, by the way. No, because I just came to know now that when you apply the mascara first, okay. it will be a little wet. Okay. Then you apply the fiber so that the fiber gets fixed into the oh. wet lash. Otherwise, the fiber will just go because every time I used it wrong till date, that's why Jackie said it's so okay, confident. It's so funny though because like I actually use it with the fiber first. It actually worked out really well for me. Yeah. But this is interesting. So I want to see this. If you guys first apply the wet mascara, okay. So what happens is the fiber will fix into the lash and see the difference. I want to see. Oh wow. Now the eyes are done, now it's time for the eyebrows. So I love this three-in-one brow definer, which is like a dark brown. And on the other side, it's like a golden skin color to highlight the brow. And it has also this amazing cute brush. So this one pencil is enough for your handbag. And I'm using the brown one to highlight. To fill in the brows, I'm using the brown. I actually only just fill in from the top, top. part of my eyebrow. Exactly. Each eyebrow is different, so you guys have to play around with that. For Jackie's eyebrows, I only... I never bring it along the bottom of the eyebrow. It makes it really droopy, so we are just bringing it <laughs> Thanks, on Sean. the top <laughs> of the eyelid. And it's really easy if you have this brush. You can brush it out. Yeah, make sure you always brush out your eyebrows, actually. It just like, I think it just fluffs them out nicer and makes them look nice and even. thick. And even. Yes. That and was the word I was looking for, for the skin. <laughs> even the skin too. Now the eyebrows are done. Now I'm using this golden shade just at the arch of the eyebrow to get that uplift. And just smudge that portion with your finger. This is really like one of the best products and it's very handy, you can just keep it in your band bag. Now the eyebrows are also done guys. Now it's time for What's left? the extra blush, which I always love giving a little bit peachiness because it's a very fresh look. So I'm using peach blusher on the after of the cheeks. Smith. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Sean doesn't say smile, he says smell. So that gives you really a nice freshness. We love blush. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we love blush on the apple of our cheeks, always. Which makes it look really fresh. That's the biggest plus one. And now it's time for the shimmer because highlighting is so important. Sorry, it's so much in trend. I played with your shimmer brush. Exactly. I'm sorry, I, I actually was like... <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm obsessed with this new Argan body butter right now, so I've just like played with the shimmer brush and the Argan oil. So, so you don't have really, a shimmer brush anymore. You, there's another brush which I really like for highlight, which is the OW11, which is really, and this is this amazing bricks, which you guys could see, like multiple color, which is shimmer. So it depends what you guys want to use. What I do is I use always the top portion to highlight. And, to get that real nice soft effect. The lower portion, which you guys can see, the lighter color, this is the area which I use for the upper of the cheeks. And another small trick what you guys can do with this amazing palette is use any of the brush, and can you guys see the lighter color? So use this the white highlighter I'm using only on the top of the nose and also on the top of the lips, upper lips. And if you guys want, a little bit on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anywhere else? Now the eyes, blush, eyebrows, everything done. Now it's time for the lips. And we always start our makeup with Scarf, which is one of the best products of Body Shop, which is like a scrub. And especially on films, you need it because we are using lipstick for hours and hours. And this one product is really handy because it takes away all the dead skin of your lips 
and moisturize it really well. So what I do is, I always do, I scrub with this, and then. And it smells like peppermint. <laughs> yeah. And? It's very fresh. Take a tissue paper and clean it off again so that all the dead skin comes off. Can you guys see that? So all the dead skin comes out and makes the lips really fresh. Now it's time for the lip liner. So make sure you guys always do a lip liner because it helps from bleeding the lipstick and also makes the lipstick stay longer and it defines the lips. So I apply always the lip liner on the outer corner of the lips, in the middle of the lips and again in the lower portion also on the outer. Now I'm using the matte lip liquid. Nairobi! Color Nairobi. <laughs> and which is really nice and fresh in color. I don't want to have it really like in a strong way so I'm just applying very little coat. I'm blending it out so that it's really nice and soft. Even though this is matte, a lot of people have problems with matte lipstick saying that it causes dryness, but this is so moisturizing, it's really funny. It's really moisturizing, but what I really like is after applying the lipstick, apply really little of the lip balm. And now it's time for the lip balm so that it looks nice and hydrated. <laughs> Show me. Yes, this is the Ashes of Roses look, which is really fresh. It's really nice to wear in the afternoon, in a day party, I'm and ready. even going for a romantic dinner. I'm ready for my date shot. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it goes really well, it's really fresh, and I hope you guys really enjoyed creating this look for you guys. And thank you, Jackie, for sitting on this chair. <laughs> oh, I just got spat on all the time. Oh my God, you better than me. <laughs>